I'm in the middle of writing a strange new collection. I mean, again, why do writers think of these things? The collection that I'm going to read from now is a collection called The Cartographer Tries to Map a Way to Zion. And that's all. It, it, it imagines a cartographer in Jamaica trying to get to Zion. And these are some of the conversations he has between himself and the rest of Manda. The epigraph is one you would know from the Psalms. The Lord loveth the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are said of thee, O city of God. Selah. The poems don't have no title, so I just get to run through a whole batch of them. Um, it's like about 15 of them, and it's just little conversations. So it's just like going to be one, two, three, four, five, right? One. The cartographer explains, my job is never to lose myself exactly, but to imagine what loss might feel like. The sudden turtle's pace, the consultation with trees and blue fences and whatever else might prove a landmark. My job is to imagine the widening of the unfamiliar and also the widening ache of it. To anticipate the ironic question, how did we find ourselves here? My job is to unconfuse the confused, to untangle the tangled, to guide you out from cul-de-sacs and dead ends into which which you may have wrongly turned. Two. The Rasta man has another reasoning. He says, now that man's job is never straight, forward or easy. Him work is to make thin and crushable all that is big and real as ourselves, is to make flat all that is high and rolling, is to make invisible and worthless plenty things that poor people can't do without, like board houses and the corner shop from which Miss Katie sells her famous peanut porridge. And then again, the map maker's work is to make visible plenty things that should have never exist in the first place like the conquest of pirates like borders like the viral spread of governments three the cartographer says, no, what I do is science. I show the land as it is without bias. I never fall in love. I never get involved with the muddy affairs of land. Too much passion instead is the hand. My aim is to show the full of a place in just a glance. Four. The Rasta man thinks, draw me a map of what you see, and I will draw a map of what you don't see. And guess me whose map will be bigger than whose. Guess me which map will tell the larger truth. Five. The cartographer has been sent into the island to draw a new and updated map of the Marl roads and the bauxite roads, of the secret roads and the slaving roads and the brand new roads that have been cut into mountains to replace the landslide covered roads. And each day while burning red in the sun hot eating unsalted stews, exalted stews of gungo peas and callaloo, he has listened to his I four months describe the nearby towns and the ways and chains they must trod to get there but one morning soon the cartographer will know his own feet's longings one morning soon he will hear zion calling six by the way this is i keep on explaining this part this is really my experience this is my frustration when i come to jamaica and you know you're driving in the country and asking for directions I just made it the cartographer's experience, which is really mine. Six. Sometimes the cartographer gets frustrated when he asks an informant how to get to such and such a place. And the informant might say something like, all right, you know the big house at the bottom of Clover Hill with all the windows then board up and a high shingle roof that look almost like a church. Yes, the cartographer says. And in front of the house, you always see an old woman only three teeth in her mouth and she out there selling pepper shrimp in a school chair with an umbrella tied to it. And beside that, she always have two mongrel dogs and one of them is white and another one is brown. Yes, I know exactly where you mean, the cartographer says. And in the yard, there's a big guinea tree that hang right out to the road. So school picnic always stop there to buy shrimp and eat free guinea. Yes, yes, the cartographer insists. I know it. Good, says the eye farmer, because you must go there. <laughs> I 
seven. <laughs> At other times, the cartographer is amazed by the hems and haws and shrugs of our roads, how they never run sure, but seem to arc or bend or narrow, just so an avenue will turn on itself as if to give you back to a place you have just come from. Lady Musgrave's road was laid in its serpentine way so that Miss Musgrave on her carriage ride home would not have to see a nigger man's property so much bigger than her husband's own. She did not want to feel the carriage slow and know her driver had just then turned his face to Devon House, a thing wet like pride in his eyes and nodding to himself, yes, is Miss Astibel build that and to think that such spite a white woman's fear of a black man's endowment should be passed down even to the present generation should dictate the thoughtless ungridded shape of our city the slowness of traffic each evening to think that one woman's pride should add so much to our daily commute this is something the cartographer does not wish to contemplate still he wonders if in his map he could make our roads a little smoother a little straighter as if in drawing he might erase a little bit of our history's disgrace In time, the cartographer will learn the strange ways and names of this island. Doppigate, Tollgate, Sowasaptern, Hoghole. We'll know the zigzag routes through Portmore, the long and short to three miles and six miles and nine miles whose distances do not relate to each other. The cartographer will learn the path to Minasen, you know, come even to a compound. We'll know how to guide you out of shambles, rat trap, and put together corner. The, we'll know the slow that goes to wait a bit, the rough and pro to boldness or blackness, the struggle that takes you up to effort. The cartographer will know places named after places, Bethlehem, Tel Aviv, Gaza, Spain, Aberdeen and Cairo. But when the cartographer asks, where is this Zion? Can someone please tell me? The Rasta man shakes his head, my brother, now that is a place that can't reach easy. <laughs> Nine. Oh my wait. Nine. Uh, nine. The cartographer whose job you will remember was never to lose himself exactly. Is losing himself tonight. Amongst the eye farmers, he is smoking a chillum pipe and learning the ease of flight and what a vantage point to see this island by how her skin is pimpled with green hollocks, how the hollocks are feathered with bamboo leaves, how flames of the forest burn amongst cashew trees, but how the river is now choked with debris and a rotting carcass, how the fields are now brown with bagasse, how a woman stumbles through the hurting night, blade wedged into her back, how birds and bullets pack the purple band of evening and sing the sky to black. <laughs> 